Hello reviewer. In this video, we're going to talk about alert settings. The first thing to note is we have three levels of alert abuse types. Our first group of abuses are binary abuses. Our system is looking for the abuse to be present or not and doesn't take severity into consideration. This next group does take severity into consideration and you can receive all severe or no alerts for these abuses. Our last group of alerts are reactive in nature and we require that you receive alerts for these categories. You can choose to receive all, severe, or only the most severe alerts. If you choose to set an alert type to none, our system is still looking for these abuses. We simply won't send you an alert for them. To update your alert settings, choose edit next to the default settings. For our Bark for Schools Plus customers, you are able to create multiple rule sets and assign them to specific user groups. From here, you'll toggle each abuse type to the correct choice for your school. You are able to update these rules at any time and we suggest playing with them to find the best fit for your team over time. Now let's look at a couple of examples together. If you were to receive alerts for anxiety, you would be able to get this student help before their thoughts escalated further. In this case, let's say that they have escalated. At this point, the student has taken action to hurt themselves. While you might be able to get them help before they seriously harm themselves, you are now reacting to a more serious situation. Let's look at one more example. Here you can see that a student has stated that they dislike Billy and they are bullying him. If you receive alerts for bullying, you can try to mediate this situation prior to it escalating further. In this case, let's say it has escalated further. Now this child is actively threatening Billy with violence. While you might be able to intercept this situation prior to the altercation, you might not, and the situation might end up with Billy being physically assaulted by another student. Now that we've reviewed these examples, I would like to finish up by providing you with a couple of reminders. One, we will only send an email notification for severe alerts. All other alerts will be added to your dashboard to be reviewed whenever you get a moment. Two, we suggest putting together a team to review alerts and not leave it all to one or two people. The more categories you allow, the more alerts you will receive. When you only allow severe and most severe alerts, you will receive less alerts overall, but you likely won't get to the root of the issue prior to them escalating to a more extreme level. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to our support team at schools at bark.us for further support.